So, think you know basic math? Well, what about zero? So we have three simple looking questions here. We have one to the zero power, zero divided by one and one divided by zero. Well, these questions are going to confuse a lot of people. So stick around because most people are going to get at least one of these questions wrong. Let's see if you can ace this little quiz on zero. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, uh, here is our little quiz, and I forgot to tell you, no calculators. All right, so we got one to the zero power, zero divided by one and one divided by zero. So if you think you know the answers, put those into the comment section because I'm gonna get into the full solutions to these questions right now. All right, so this is not going to be too long of a video because uh, the solutions here are uh, pretty easy to kind of explain. So here we have one to the zero power. Well, in mathematics, anything, and let's just make sure you understand the power first before I explain this. So, uh, for example, if I have two to the third power, that uh, means take two, which is the base, and multiply it by itself three times. So that's two times two times two, which, of course, is eight. All right, so just a quick review of powers. In this particular problem, we're trying to figure out one to the zero power. So conceptually, you know, one to the zero power, take one and multiply it by itself zero times. I mean, the thing doesn't even make sense, right? The question is kind of weird, but the answer is always one, okay? Anything to the zero power, any value, any expression to the zero power is one. So for example, 12 to the zero power is one. Uh, X plus two to the zero power is one. Uh, doesn't make a difference. Triangle to the zero power is one, right? So anything to the zero power is one. Pretty straightforward. So if you can remember that, well, then that's excellent, all right? So in terms of, uh, you know, more of an explanation, you know, sometimes in mathematics, you simply just have to understand the kind of the rule, right? So anything to the zero power is always going to be one. All right, let's move on to our next question here, and that is zero divided by one. Now, I think uh, it's a little bit um, uh, better to explain this problem by looking at uh, this question as a fraction. So zero divided by one, we can think of as the fraction zero divided by one, okay? So zero is the numerator, and uh, one is the denominator. So uh, now the answer here is zero, but let's uh, change the question a bit here because I think it might be easier to explain. What if I had zero divided by four, okay? So it's kind of like uh, zero divided by four. Let me kind of change the problem here. So zero divided by four. So let's suppose you and your uh, three friends, so there's a total of four of you, are like, hey, let's split up a, uh, a pizza that we don't have in four different ways, okay? How can we uh, split up nothing, okay, which is zero, in four different ways? No problem, we can split that up and we all get zero, right? We are all gonna get an equal uh, slice of zero uh, four different ways, which of course is zero. So that kind of makes sense, right? If we're gonna take nothing and split it up four different ways, we're all going to get nothing. So zero divided by any number, okay, except zero, all right? Now that's an exception, we'll talk about that next. But zero divided by one, zero divided by four, doesn't make a difference, is going to be zero. Okay, so that kind of conceptually makes sense, especially when you think of it as a fraction. So again, this is where uh, a lot of students get confused, is uh, when we have a zero in the numerator, that's one thing, okay? Uh, but when zero in the denominator, that's a whole different situation. So again, uh, when zero is the numerator, or zero divided by one, or zero, di zero divided by four, the answer will be zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our last situation here. So one divided by zero. One divided by zero. We can think of this as the fraction, as one divided by zero. Now, this is a, an entirely different situation. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm actually gonna change this uh, uh, to this type of problem. I'm gonna use the number four, four divided by zero. 
uh, just to see if we can kind of um, see this a little bit more clearly. So let's take a look at this question, 4 divided by 0. So 0, again, is in the denominator. So I'll just tell you right off the bat, when you cannot divide by 0 in mathematics, it's always going to be an error. And typically, we like to express that as undefined. It's undefined. Okay, we, in other words, there's some things we just can't define. And it's like, uh, you know, if you think about it, uh, let's take four, okay, four things, or, uh, yeah, we could take four things, whatever you want to think about this. And we're like, okay, let's divide it up in zero ways. Well, it's not even like dividing by any, you know, like one or two or anything else. It doesn't even make sense, right? You're like, ah, I, I don't even understand this question. Where this other question, I think it's a little bit more conceptual, right? We have nothing, we'll, we'll split it up four different ways. Yeah, then we all get uh, four equal parts of nothing, which of course is zero. But we can't take something and split it up with nothing, okay? <laughs> so uh, it doesn't even make sense. So if you can kind of remember that, I think you'll be good to go. But these are the kind of three uh, most common situations you're going to run into with zero in mathematics. And they come up all the time. Matter of fact, I'll show you uh, a few algebraic situations here um, uh, that you know we kind of think about uh, zero in just one second. But before I do, if you have not yet subscribed, you just don't know, you don't realize how important it is to me and my YouTube channel. I love teaching mathematics and I try to bring you the best uh, content that I can, but uh, it really goes a long, long way when you hit that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit that notification button so you can get my latest videos. All right, so uh, that's kind of the solution to that uh, little pop quiz I gave you. But let's take a look at some algebraic situations so we can kind of take this a step further. So if I have, uh, let's say, x to the 0 power, what's that going to be? Well, 1, right? Let's kind of do another one. x plus 2 to the 0 power, what's that going to be equal to? 1. No problem. What if I end up with a situation like this? 0 over y plus 1. 0 over y plus 1, what's that equal to? Well, 0 is in the numerator. Okay, y plus 1 down here is the denominator, so this is going to be equal to 0. And if I have something like uh, w minus 3 over 0, well, this right here would be an undefined situation. And this comes up quite frequently, at least, um, uh, you know, you uh, these kind of situations, all right? Like when you end up by with z uh, 0 in the denominator or 0 in the denominator, if, numerator, excuse me, or 0 as the power, this comes up uh, quite frequently, and this kind of leads me into another discussion about functions and things called uh, the range and the domain. So that's another discussion, but I have to stop myself. I do have all sorts of additional videos on uh, these concepts of, you know, where zero comes into play, but you're going to see it in mathematics, right? And you might be saying, well, why do you always say put your calculator away? Well, you're not going to be able to use your calculator on many of the tests and exams you're going to be taking, right? And you should just know these concepts irrespective of whether you're, um, you're able to use a calculator or not. But uh, listen, if you didn't know everything about zero, I think if you understand these three things, you're going, you're going to be uh, you know, well on your way for handling any situation with this lovely number zero, one of the most powerful numbers in uh, mathematics. And I think a lot of students just kind of underappreciate uh, the impact zero has on math. Okay, so if you need additional help in mathematics, check out all my videos on my YouTube channel. I try to span everything from basic math to advanced math. And if you need kind of like my best formal instruction, you can check out all my uh, math courses. I'll leave those uh, links in the description below. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.